Hello students, welcome to our third week of class. We are just moving right along. Uh, we have covered lots of important background topics covering cells. Last week we learned all about what DNA is, the structure, how it replicates, what genes are, uh, how we make proteins. So all of this incredibly important information is what is going to become useful in the kind of next, I'm going to call it basically a uh, unit of information. So you can kind of think of uh, unit one, these first uh, four weeks, three weeks, no, first three weeks, these first three weeks is kind of being the background information that we need. And then once we have covered all of this, as we move into uh, the, the following weeks, we'll kind of see a little bit more of the application of this information. Uh, so in week three, we're going to be covering uh, some <clears throat> sort of larger uh, concepts that have to do with this uh, protein functioning again, right? So one of those happens to be mutations. So now that we understand the process of protein synthesis, right, we know how to transcribe and translate uh, a gene. What happens when uh, mistakes are made? Uh, those mistakes in the genetic code are a few referred to as mutations. That's what a, a genetic mutation is, is when you have something that is wrong. It could be a single letter that is the wrong letter in the sequence of DNA. Uh, it could be an entire amino acid is incorrect. So lots of different ways that, that you can see mutations and also the implications of those mutations, right? So if we change a single amino acid, what happens? If we change a single letter in the sequence, what happens? That's what you're going to learn about this week. The other thing we're going to learn about is we're going to learn about uh, your chromosomes. So uh, remember that your, all of the DNA collectively uh, in, in your body is, is broken in part into essentially long pieces of DNA. And those long pieces of DNA are referred to as chromosomes, and different species have different numbers of, of chromosomes. We as humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which is a total of 46 chromosomes. So you get 23 chromosomes from mom. 23 chromosomes uh, from dad. So you're going to learn a little bit more about those chromosomes. You're going to learn the difference between um, autosomes and, and what are referred to as our sex chromosomes. You're also going to learn a little bit about what happens when we don't have a, a full complement of chromosomes. Um, there, there are um, health consequences to that if, if you are missing a piece of a chromosome or you have an extra chromosome. So we're going to talk about aneuploidies and polyploidies and things like that. So uh, the, just the two topics this time, mutations and chromosomes, uh, a little bit less and lighter on the material than we have been in previous weeks, uh, but still some important information as we again move on into application of this information. So once again, uh, this week is set up same as all of the others. Uh, so there are lecture videos for both of these, as well as guided notes. I also have the assignments for this week. Uh, assignments, once again, include the adapted practice modules. There's only two this week. Uh, the discussion board question. Please, please, please remember that you have to not only respond to the question that you're given. That's half of your credit. The other credit comes from replying to other students. So if you reply to two students, I'll give you up to five points of credit for each of those replies. That's 10 points total. So your total discussion grade for each week is worth 20 points. 10 of it comes from your own response to the question, and the other 10 comes from how you reply to other students. So if you're, if you're missing those student replies, I'm, I'm writing comments in your grade comments, and I'm saying, hey, make sure you reply to other students, all right? So you need to do both of those in order to earn full credit. So just for those of you who might have been wondering, why, why am I not getting full credit? It's not just replying to my question. Uh, you also have to reply to other students as well. And then uh, additional resources for this week. I'm, what, oh, a chromosome. What is a chromosome? So this is a, a tour of a, a chromosome from a site uh, from Learn Genetics from Utah, which is really helpful. So that's one that I included as well if you need more information about what a chromosome is. Here's probably what everybody's really interested in, right? So from Socrative this week, I got a few questions about what's going to be on the exam? What's the exam set up like? What does it look like? Uh, here's where you're getting all the answers to that. So our exam happens next week. It's the only thing I have on uh, the schedule for next week. So there's no learning material that you have in addition to the exam. All I want you to do is focus on taking this first exam. Exam will become available Monday morning, and it will end Sunday evening. That's your time slot. It's an entire week. You have to get it done in that week. Um, I use Honor Lock. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Honor Lock, it is a extension on a Google Chrome 
browser. So you have to use Google Chrome as your browser. If you don't have it, make sure you download that before the exam starts. You're going to, in your Chrome browser, navigate to Blackboard, navigate to the exam, click on the exam. You're not going to have the OnerLock extension yet, unless you've been at Harper Student before and you already have used OnerLock with other classes. If you have, you're set and you're good to go. If you're new to Harper uh, and you've never used OnerLock before, on your Google Chrome browser, it's going to say, you need to download this extension. And then you just download it. Okay. Once it's downloaded, same thing. You open up the exam and the exam is good to go. You do need a webcam, a working webcam uh, to take this exam. So please note that if you um, don't have one, let me know as soon as possible. And I can again direct you to the library to pick up a Chromebook so that Chromebooks have the cameras on them because that is part of the Honor Lock system is having a working camera. So please make sure that you have one. And then I also provided a study guide for you. So another thing people ask me is, well, what's going to be on the exam? What do we need to know? Uh, here's everything you need to know, right? So, so I've got all of the major important concepts, everything that we've covered in these last three weeks. Um, someone asked me how to study. Okay, this is how you study. Take the study guide. Go back through all of those notes and my lecture videos and even the, the textbook and start filling in this information into your study guide itself. itself. So when I say list the differences between DNA and RNA, do that in the study guide. Actually write them all down or type them all out or whatever is helpful to you. Um, someone asked in the Socrative questions if the... Um, if the exam questions were based on lecture materials or if they were based on your adaptive practice exercises. Your adaptive practice exercises are meant to help you understand the material. So I can't say that they're necessarily not like the questions that you saw on the adaptive practice, but they aren't the same as those adaptive practice questions. I hope that makes sense, right? So. If you had adaptive practice questions on the structure of DNA and you were asked something about the structure of DNA, like what holds base pairs together and the answer was hydrogen bonds, you might see a similar question on the exam to that, right? But that's because that's an important concept, right? It's in my lecture notes, but it's also covered on the adaptive practices. So just kind of keep in mind that it's not, it's not as simple as an either or. The concepts that you see here in this study guide are what you're going to see on the exam. However you want to best prepare yourself for that is entirely up to you. I recommend my lecture notes, my lecture videos, and the book as well. You can certainly use that. Um, but you can sort of fill this in, in in any way that you would like. But this is what I'm basing the exam on. So the structure of the exam, multiple choice mostly, and then it also has some short answer questions. So what that means is at the end of the exam when you turn it in, you're not going to necessarily know your score until I go back through and grade those short answer questions. So again, give me mm, two to three days. Okay, so by the middle of the following week, I should have your grades posted for you. Um, I, I try to stay on top of those. If you do the exam early in the week, I'll probably grade those as we go through the week because I don't have anything else to grade. But if you wait until Sunday night to take that exam, I'm probably going to take me a couple days to get those in. All right. Uh, and then time. Okay, it is a timed exam. You cannot leave the exam and come back to it. Once you start, you have to finish it. Um, and you can't backtrack. Okay, so it's quite, each question is shown one at a time on a screen. So you answer the question and then you move on to the next question. Okay, so I think that about does it. If you have more questions about Honor Lock, you're more than welcome to watch the video. I have the study guide here. Um, I think that just about does it. Uh, Socrative, make sure you're doing the Socrative survey. These are five easy, easy points that you can be earning uh, each week. And uh, again, this is your chance to ask me questions. This also gives me an idea of you know, what you all are understanding. So it's a really kind of simple way to earn five points. You just have to remember to get it done. So right now uh, I have a little bit over half of the students who are sort of regularly uh, taking this Socrative survey. So uh, again, it, it's worth your time. It takes all of two minutes to do. It's worth your time. It sounds like it's not a lot of points, five points, but if you add that up <laughs> over the course of this semester, you're talking about 30 points, which really could make a difference in your grade. So don't lose that out on those unnecessarily. All right, I think that uh, about covers everything for this week. So there will not be a um, lecture, or excuse me, an announcement video next week because you're, you're taking the exam. So I'm, I'm not going to make a video about that. It doesn't seem very 
practical or useful. Uh, but you, there still will be an announcement. I still will remind you with the weekly emails and I'll still do the summary emails. I'll, I'll communicate with you the same way I always do. I'm just not going to create a, a video next week talking about the exam because I kind of covered it all here. Uh, let me know what questions you have. Let me know how I can help. Uh, if you need extra study advice or extra study tips or if you want me to look over your study guide, your completed study guide, I would be happy to do that for you. Just send it to me by email. Give me a day, maybe a couple days if you do, if you uh, send it to me on a weekend. Uh, I'll look it over it for you and I'll be like, hey, this is great. Or, hey, you need more information here, here, or here. So happy to provide that service for you. Uh, just send me whatever you'd like for me to look over as far as your materials go. Good luck to you all. Uh, and we'll see you next time.